you agree with the NHL's decision to hold NHL players out of the Olympics? I think it's the dumbest decision I've ever heard in my entire life. The Olympics are for the elite athletes in their sport. Now, some people have made the argument, well, it's supposed to be for amateur, play, uh, amateur athletes, the Olympics. But then that doesn't really hold true. If you look at tennis, golf, uh, basketball, and even some water polo players make a, quite a good money playing off in Europe for it. But they need to have the best players in their sport to showcase it. And the NHL does not feel like they can grow the sport by playing in South Korea. So that's why they're holding it back. What I find interesting is that they're not really opposed to when the Winter Olympics are held in Beijing in 2020 because they want to grow the game to chi in, the China, in China. See, the NHL is the only league that has to shut down its own league for the Olympics. Basketball is a winter yeah. sport they play in the summer. So I'm, I'm one of the few people that I understand why the owners don't want to shut it down. And for me personally, the novelty of the NHLers in the Olympics is sort of worn off. I'd, moving forward, I'd think maybe make it like soccer, which is an under-22 tournament or under 23 and that way you'd have the juniors and yeah. kids in the AHL you know like, like a, a Charlie Lindgren would be with Team Canada and you know I, I'm probably in the minority on this but I think uh, the novelty is sort of worn off and as Bettman says these games are gonna be broadcast live in North America at 3 in the morning who's gonna be watching at 3 in the morning people will watch after I think it's the most it's my favorite hockey ever and it's finally like you get to cheer for a team that has a real shot of winning something not that the Habs don't but you know what I mean I mean we've, we're, we always put out the best and most exciting team on the ice it's mm. great you, you think I, it's I, I've covered seven Olympic games including four winter games including the hockey tournament at three and uh, it's just it has an atmosphere just completely unlike anything else yeah. you know from the day you land at an Olympics until the end it's just at a level that's up here you know compared to any other competition I think most of the athletes who have participated will say that they're the ones that are really getting screwed I would also if I'm NBC or, or uh, Rogers uh, with my huge mega deals with with the NHL I'm pretty unhappy because NBC has the games and you know, here one of the one of the showpieces of the the games would be a U.S. Canada hockey game that is going to be meaningless with a bunch of kids playing. Uh, and he's pissed off the NHLPA, which I think was a mistake. Uh, and and now he's going to want to go back and try to play in in uh, China in in 2022. I don't think it's going to work. I think the IOC is going to say take uh, a hike. I think he wants to piss off the NHLPA. And to me, the thing, the most admirable thing out of all of this, you know, we had the World Baseball Classic. These major league guys didn't want to go. You know, how many major league ball players that would leave to go play in the Olympics? Yeah. The hockey players want to go. Like yeah. they're not making any extra money out of this. This is just they all. It's I think it says a lot about hockey players that the pride of playing for their country. They really want to go. Like you would think a few of them would say, oh, "I'm happy to stay back and not risk yeah. getting injured." But I think that's the most admirable thing out of all of this. It's going to be interesting if. Uh if Ovechkin leads a bunch of Russian players who decide to defy the league and yeah. go over, and then the, the Finns and Americans and Canadians who are still here playing in the NHL. Well, you know. The way Bettman and the owners think, though, I wonder if this is a way if players do choose to go, is this a way that they can nullify some contracts they want to get out from under? Check out the whole episode at HockeyInsideOut.com now.